Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have to get, um, sorry, I've been disturbed. Uh, I have two recalls to share with you. Botulism concerns, spur recall of boneless sardines. Do any of you like sardines? You know, I used to like them, but not anymore. Anyway, they're clover leaf, boneless fillets, sardines. I never saw sardines in a box before. Fillets. Uh, this okay. That might be Spanish. Cloverleaf Seafoods Corporation is recalling two flavors of boneless sardines because it has been determined that they may permit the growth of colostridium botulinum botulinum which causes botulism poisoning there you go the company triggered the recall according to a notice posted by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency that's the CFIA so apparently they are made in Canada the notice did not provide any details on how the problem was discovered or how the volume of sardines or how the volume of sardines subject to recall that's a typo I didn't provide any details on how the problem was discovered or how the volume of sardines was subject to recall how did they know that's probably what they mean government inspectors are working with the company to find the cause of the problem the investigation could lead to the recall of other products according to the CFIA notice as of the posting of the recall notice no confirmed illnesses had been reported in connection with the recalled sardines that just kills me okay so folks if you have any clover leaf sardines boneless fillets garlic and chive and oil the codes 0170 C as in Charlie B as in boy X as in x-ray P as in Paul 2025 looks like they were put out January 18th JN 18 or June 18th I don't know or were they made in 2018 I don't know the other code is <coughs> excuse me 0204 C as in Charlie B as in boy X as in x-ray P as in Paul 2025 JL which I would suspect is July 22nd all right and then the next one is clover leaf sardines boneless fillets smoked jalapeno in oil if you like sardines those sound pretty good okay now there's three numbers on that one and there's other numbers too so what I'm gonna do um, okay it says one of the most dangerous of the illnesses resulting from eating under processed food the most dang one of the most dangerous is botulism poisoning Untreated botulism can paralyze the muscles needed for breathing, resulting in sudden death. That doesn't sound good. Now we're fighting this fake. Ooh. I'm just a little bit upset that I have to put up with people that are now you know what. And I'm the enemy because I tried to tell people. Okay, then on to the next one. I'll put the link in the description box. Recall. Now, this is very strange to me. Rapala, R A P A L A, U S A. Recalls rechargeable fillet knives 
due to fire hazard. Oh, I get it. You probably pour lighter fluid in it. Let me see. Filet knives from Rapala USA are being recalled after the company deemed the product was a fire hazard. The United States Consumer Product Safety Commissioner Commission said, or the CPSC. The item number for the product is RRFN. Okay. The knife handles are black and gray. And the Rapala logo is printed in red on the handle along with the word ION in white. Consumers should immediately stop using the recalled rechargeable fillet knife. Remove the battery. Oh, it takes a battery. And look for a while. Look. Oh. Gosh. Okay, let's see if that'll help a little. Hi, baby. Let me finish my video. Oh, you gotta see him. Oh, he was standing up. He stands up and sits on his bottom and he, and he, and he does this like mama play with me all right so look for a white ETL label on the battery ETL label on the battery or right, if the battery does not have a white ETL label Consumers should contact Rapala USA for a free replacement battery and for prepaid return of the old battery to Rapala for proper disposal, according to the CPSC. That must be one heck of a battery, let me tell you what. All right, I'm, um, okay, well, the... Minnetonka-based company has received reports of 12 batteries overheating and catching fire, in some cases causing damage to surrounding areas. No injuries have been reported. Most people do their filleting of fish outside, but I suppose you could do it inside. It's just messy. It can be found at Bass Pro Shops, Mills Fleet Farm, Cabela's, and sporting goods stores nationwide and online at Rapella's website from March 2011 through December 2018. The price stands at about $101. Wow. Must be really great. It probably goes back and forth. To That's nice, but not if it's going to catch on fire. So I will put the, um, and there's some other recalls under there you might want to check out if you're into the recall business. <laughs> okay, so with that, I'm going to say um, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.